figured I'd show you guys my 1964 Ford F100. It's my grandfather's pickup. I think it's kind of rare, but I guess it's more nostalgic than anything. But, uh, start where we're at already. Found a uh, stamped truck plate, 1964 uh, Pennsylvania. Was able to do a one time registration, which was kind of neat. Anyway, uh, still got the old chains here. I added these lights here for a little bit more uh, visibility. Still got the stock wood bed. I'm sure it's been replaced since. I uh, had a sticker made up and a loving member of my Papa Clyde Morgan. Died in 2002. That's my mom's father. Good looking truck though. He had it inside his shop in his uh, alignment shop, Morgan Alignment in Greenville, South Carolina. It's got the dual spares which is to me kind of rare but who knows maybe it's not a very desired option doesn't matter I love it just because it's his went with some 235 75-15 these are the uh, stock cup caps that came on the car the bottle cap ones I have a reproduction set on the opposing side it's a custom cab I love the mirrors the way you can angle them out a little bit there's the uh, South Carolina sticker 83-84 last time was registered. I'm trying to get a reproduction sticker so that way I can keep that sticker. I really like the roof line too. I kind of like how this back notches back like that. I thought that was kind of neat. Body line there. We'll walk around the outside but I'll give you uh, give you the inside here. Figures I got some guy in the background backing up. Custom cab so came with the inserts, came with the zipper. This one, of course, doesn't work. Looking for a new one. Just put some seat belts in it. Didn't have seat belts, of course. I never really liked to stay put. This is a redone seat, but they kept the original Ford stamp right there with the sprocket on it. Part of my bag down there. Kind of made a video on a whim. Headliner, not so great, but once again, it's Papa's, so I can't really, I don't really want to do much. I did happen to clean up this rear view mirror. It's all nice and polished now. It's all rusty. But, uh, manual choke. Got the hazards on right now. Three on the tree. 292 wide block. He put a tack in it, never had a tack. I like the airflow thing down here. You'll notice it uh, just moves that flat. I don't know if you can see that. Trying to throw some air on your feet. Got the high and low B beam down low. Put the red inserts in. Say 100 on it. You'll probably notice the grill's cut out. He had some fog lights on there. He uh, used to run up and down Highway 123 in Greenville and uh, change spares and stuff like that. Let me open up the motor for you. Nice big motor there, big hood. 292 Y block, nothing special. I resealed it. Everything I saw online said black block, red attachment, so that's what I ended up doing. Black block, red water pump, red fan, intake manifold. That is my, uh, probably wondering what that coke can is. That is my ignition coil. It's a flamethrower one. It was kind of beat up. My brother Joe, or my cousin Joe, I should say, gave that uh, to me. So I figured I'd cover it up with a coke can and it turned out quite nice. Battery there. Nor normally these things run out like hell right here. Of course, you can see somebody's already welded in one. I really want to get a new battery hold down, something a little bit more time period. This was kind of just a, uh, Universal. New ignition coil. New uh, generator down there. I say ignition coil, I'm sorry, voltage regulator. Whew. Got some new coolant hoses on here. New belt. 
Still got the correct 64 radiator in it right there. Not too shabby. Still got the Farm Co or Ford Co washer spray nozzle. Still got the manual brakes. That's about it, folks. Figured I'd uh, do a video on it. When I was trying to do some restorations on it, I found it kind of hard to find a lot of videos showing you the truck complete and maybe little things like the seats and you know just sometimes having some insight on what it's supposed to look like and what it does look like always helps. I'm pretty sure he had these bumpers redone. These bumpers look great. It's got some nice exhaust tips. I want to say they're either glass packs or something. I uh, can't see underneath it of course because of the light. Now these are refurbs on this side as far as the hubcaps go, the bottle caps. But they turned out alright. Now the wheels were tan like the truck. But uh, I literally just spray paint them just so that way they kind of blend in. And it's actually not even spray paint, it's Plasti Dip, which I'm ashamed to say. But I figured just in case, you know, I was going to put it back to the way he had it, I would uh, do that instead. So. But there she is, 64 Ford F100, one owner, family owned from there on. Went from uh, my papa to my Uncle Earl who recently just passed away, rest in peace. My Aunt Gwen, now myself. We love you papa, rest in peace and 64 Ford.